Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to another Shoe Snob unboxing video series, One Take Wonders. Here we are with something new on the channel. Uh, a pair of boots, shoes, something. I always make it seem like a mystery, but I always forget that the photo in the beginning tells you everything. So a pair of boots that you may be very well familiar with by a dear friend of mine and colleague in the industry. Let's jump straight to it, Mr. Norman Velalta. So, Norman, Norman's got a beautiful box. I love blue, blue's my favorite color. So anytime the box is blue already, I'm uh, attracted to it. But I love this kind of uh, gold leaf insignia that he has in decor, decoration. I think it's very, very pretty, very professional, very elegant. Um, nice sturdy box, big lid, strong, very good, very good. Blue lining, very simple, nice, lovely packaging. Let's take a look. Oh, my desk is getting smaller, I have coffees, I have microphones. We got the whole shebang. All right, here we go. More blue, looks like Norman's favorite color is blue as well. Norman and I actually share a lot in common. Uh, from our history to, to many things and we're really good friends so it's funny uh, anyway let's take a look now I haven't actually looked at the boots what are the chances they're blue let's take a look I know they're not my size so I didn't try them on ahead of time so sorry I won't be able to give you fit advice because well Norman just sent me something quickly uh, really nice bags they got nice strong, so they're pretty much laces with uh, little metal tips, which is nice. All right, well, they're not blue, so I was wrong. Um, the inside is velour, velvet, whatever you want to call it. Um, and it's, yeah, it's nice, nice and soft. That uh, definitely helps to maintain the, uh, the boots, shoes, whatever's on the inside. The only problem with the bags is if you put high shines, I don't know how this reacts, but most things take away the high shines. You do all that hard work and then it rattles around the shipment and takes away the high shine. Maybe the velvet does better. All right, let's take a look. Really good quality bags. All right, so many of you have probably seen that boot before because it is Norman's famous Deacon Chelsea, which is a very cool play on a Chelsea slash Chaka slash Derby slash who knows what kind of boot. Uh, I mean, yeah, it's, it just goes hand in hand with the brilliance that is Norman's designs um, and a, f a famous boot for that reason and I'm sure many of you watching probably have a pair and if you don't you probably want a pair and for good reason so yeah beautiful stuff let me take a look at it let me grab a little bit of coffee I was tired this morning So, Norman, beautiful stitching on the sole, light fudging. You can tell this has a lot of handwork. So, Norman's shoes are made in Spain. Norman also resides in Spain, although he's from Argentina originally. Uh, he has an atelier workshop in Barcelona. Uh, what some may or may not know is Norman has about 80% of the work done in the factory and then has a team in his workshop in Barcelona that finishes the shoes to give it that 
kind of handmade touch detail at the end. He often patinas all the pairs, shines them, glasses the, the heels, shapes the heel, glasses the waist to pull it in tighter. Does a lot of hand finishing uh, at the end to give you that striking, beautiful figure. You know, you got a very subtle pitched heel, but this is, this is a bespoke feel of a heel in the sense that you can tell this is waxed by hand and finished by hand. This is not how factory heels feel. This is how a bespoke heel feels. Um, so yeah, the beauty of Norman's collection is he very much mixes his background of shoemaking with his ready to wear production. Uh, for those that don't know, Norman actually studied under Stefano Bemer as I did. He was there, I think five years before me, um, undertaking the same apprenticeship that I did. I think he was there a little bit longer than me, but uh, yeah, he was definitely became a proper shoemaker, whereas I never became a proper shoemaker. I learned, I made a few pairs for myself, and that was that. <laughs> uh, but Norman can make shoes, has a bespoke program, and obviously his talents. And, and this is where I feel him and I connect a lot as I really feel when I look at Norman's brand and I know Norman and I look at his designs and I think about myself, I feel like we're so similar in these regards and we really absorbed a lot of, of our time at Stefano Bemmer. I really feel that even if Stefano didn't directly influence us himself, like person to person, that just being in his shop was influential uh, alone. And I'm sure Norman feels that same that same way. Like I said, for those who have heard my story, I used to arrive early to my apprenticeship. I was always the first one there. And I would just spend the first 10 minutes of each day absorbing all of the bespoke samples that were just immaculate. And that really gave me my, <clears throat> I don't know how to put it, but like really was the foundation of my kind of eye for design was absorbing all of Stefano's and seeing how you could subtly twist the classic to make it a uniquely beautiful shoe, but not like trying to reinvent the wheel. Um, and, I, I, and when I look at Norman's stuff and I look at my stuff, I think we both strive for that where we try to take classic models and make them uniquely ours uh, because you know it's it's very hard to do something that's never been done before that is elegant it's very easy to do something that has not been done before that is horrific <laughs> is uh, you can easily butcher a shoe it's very hard to make a new design elegant so anyway the Deacon Chelsea beautiful pair of boots very nice very soft chisel last elegant Classic timeless. Norman has beautiful patinas, very nice, knows how to accentuate the uh, the colors with the design, put a light patch here, darker patch here, light patch on the toe, little light patches in the seams, and carefully un uh, thought out places that really helps to accentuate the design and help you really appreciate the beauty of that pattern. So, you know, obviously I'm biased because Norman is a dear friend of mine, but I'm also biased because I respect Norman, even if Norman and I weren't friends, for the fact that he does things that are uniquely his. And I always appreciate that about a designer. Even if I don't like their shoes, I appreciate if they're at least trying to do things that aren't just copying another shoemaker. It's very easy to do that. It's very difficult to be your own idea and your own maker and designer. Norman is also known for his wild color soles. So here we have a uh, kind of lavender purple with some dark stripes running through it. Got the little NV Norman Villalta. There's some other insignia here, but I can't really actually make it out. But now there are the less. I wish I could kind of show you uh, It'll be hard to see. I'll, you probably see it in the other video, but Norman has a very cool uh, sock liner, which looks like a, uh, a diagram of... It's a famous diagram that we've all seen. It probably has a name, but I'm not a 
I was never into the art world in that regard, only the shoe art world. And it's like that famous illusion with all the square boxes to look like a big wall of boxes. I think it's such a cool sock liner and a cool idea. Sometimes I'm always jealous of that. Uh, and sometimes always, sometimes I'm jealous of that, that I didn't think to make a cool sock liner. I just went with the plain one. But uh, anyway, beautiful inside arch there. Norman does straight waists, which is interesting. You know, it's normally, you know, brands want to do beveled because it's just seen as higher make. But the fact that Norman cuts his in, I think gives it the look that we all want, which is basically a tapered waist. So, you know, the fact that he keeps it straight, probably also because he's, he's glassing that. Maybe you guys don't know what I'm talking about when I say glassing. So when you are shaping in bespoke shoemaking and you are creating this finish, you use a piece of broken glass and you scrape it away. And that's going to give you like the flattest finish there is. Uh, and so, yeah, Norman glasses this. I can tell you it's very difficult to glass the inside because you can't just slice right open that waist. Believe me, I've done it. So impressive, impressive that Norman is, you know, finishing, doing about 25% of the work by hand, 20, 25. I'm just throwing a number out there, but the finishing is a big and very important part of the beauty of a boot. I just love the, the shape on it. I'm hoping you're able to see this again. You know, I always follow up with a uh, up close detail video, so hopefully we'll be able to get it there. But uh, yeah, impressive stuff that Norman, you know, has a little team that he can hand finish these beautiful boots. Uh, and yeah, many of you who don't own a pair are probably wondering the price. These, I believe, go for 970 euros. Um, and, you know, I think you're getting great value for money there because it's a beautiful boot. The quality is definitely there. The finishing is definitely there. Unfortunately, I can't comment on the fit or the last. I'm sorry. Maybe another time. But is in, in terms of value for quality, you're not going wrong. This is definitely a very beautifully well-made pair of boots. So anyway, if you don't know Norman Vallalta, which would be odd if you listen to my channel, definitely check him out. Norman's a great guy, a true artist, uh, one of my good friends of, of the industry, and I always support him and his brand and everything he does because I know that he does it from passion. So thank you as always for tuning in. Do stay tuned for the up close detailed videos. I wish everybody a wonderful day. And I wish everybody who celebrates Thanksgiving a wonderful Thanksgiving, hopefully spent with family and loved ones. Wishing everybody well. Thanks as always. Take care. Bye.